Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, April 14th. I hope you had a nice Easter weekend. Um, I wanted to give you a few more uh, musical materials, some fine arts materials to keep you busy um, in this time where we're not together. I have shared some videos to the school's YouTube web channel um, as well as in Teams. Um, not everybody is on Teams, I don't think, so if you wanted to access them uh, and you're not on Teams yet, um, the school's web account, or the school's YouTube account rather, uh, is a good way to do that. There are lyric sheets with them and, and hopefully those work. If they don't work, uh, if someone can please let me know, I will make them work. Um, I will be uploading more of those in the coming days, but I did want to share something with you called Songmaker today. Um, it's uh, by the makers of Google Chrome, uh, which is Google, and um, it is a, a fun tool that you can use to start to create music um, that works on the principles of like a basic drum machine and basic uh, online synthesizer. Um, so we're just going to get into it. I've been playing around with it already. Uh, the link is up at the top and I'll send those out to your teachers and put those on Teams as well, or put that on Teams. Um, but let's hear what I've created so far. I just hit play. Oh, there we go. And if I want to pause it, stop it, I just hit stop. So this is my stop start button over here. Um, and we heard some uh, some strings uh, playing in a pizzicato style, which is where they just sort of pick the string, or it's like a very quick, uh, quick strike of the note. Uh, and then there were some percussion blocks, and you can change those. So I'm just going to hit play here and then start to monkey around with it a little bit. Now I can change some of these notes. I can take some away maybe. How about this? Let's see what this sounds like. There, we'll get some syncopation in there. Now, if I maybe don't like the woodwinds, I can change it. Oh, yes, there we go. And maybe these blocks I'm not such a fan of, so I can change those as well. Ooh. All right. Now maybe this is a little fast. Maybe I want to slow it down a bit so I can adjust the tempo to 88 beats per minute. Actually, you know what? I think I liked it better a little faster. So we'll go back up to, let's say 120 again. I wonder if I can just type it in. Oh, I can. And maybe the the drum kit I don't want to change I don't want to uh, have that so I'll just change it to <laughs> That doesn't necessarily fit so well with the synth so I'll change it one more time All right so Everything that uh, I, I select this, marimba, piano, strings, woodwind, uh, synthesizer, those are my options there. And that controls everything above this line. Um, these are notes in the key of C, starting on middle C, right there. Um, and it goes up the major scale. Uh, I can continue up this way. So it gives me two whole octaves, or a series of, of eight notes. Um, now I can play that and see what that sounds like. Actually sounds kind of nice. I've got a major third, some harmony going on there, a couple notes at the same time. There, that's a major seven chord. Ah. So you can get very complicated with this. Um, but anyway, sorry, back to what I was talking about. Everything above the line is controlled with this button. You can change those sounds. Everything below the line has to do with this button here. And these are the percussion or the drums, uh, the rhythmic parts of our 
our music, and these are the melodic parts of our music up here. Um, as I said, you can change the tempo right here. Uh, now you can add some uh, you can add some notes by singing. Um, I have tried this. It didn't work super well for me, but maybe you'll have a bit better luck if you try it. Um, and we'll, if we'll go to settings here, we can get a little bit more complicated. Um, we can change the scale. Uh, it could be a minor scale. That'll be pent no, that'll be our chromatic perhaps. Let's see how that goes. Let's see what that sounds like. All right, we'll just go back to major here. Uh, we can increase the amount of octaves, I think. Perhaps that'll give us more to look at if I... Oh, yeah, okay, so we've got... We can keep going higher here. We've got three octaves, it looks like, to play with. That's as high as we go. We could just go to one octave, and that only gives us eight notes to work with, perhaps a little simpler. Um, now, the last step, say, if I wanted to go back to three octaves, I just hit undo. And say I'm really not happy with what I've I've done. Um, I can get rid of some notes by just clicking on where I've got some input already, and that will get rid of it. If I want to get rid of everything all at the same time, you've probably guessed it already. Uh, I just hit restart, and there it's all gone. Um, so I'm going to start from the beginning here, and I'm going to just try to whip up something quick. Uh, we'll go with how about synth um, and electronic, sure. There, that's my, my synth snare drum sound, or sorry, my electronic snare drum. It's easy to overload um, and to just fill it with sound. Oh, I can do that there. All right, not bad. There's quite a bit going on. I could, uh... now how about this? If I take those out now. There we go. I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to add my synth. Oh, I guess I don't need to click that again, do I? It's all ready to go. Now here we go. Now, I'm going to add another octave there. Oh, did I do it? I did. Where is it? One, two, I guess it's just, okay, I did it in the middle. Um, oh, undo. What's this going to sound like, huh? Ah, <laughs> that's not bad. Now I could probably add 
Oh, looks like I can add up to how many bars? 16 bars. So if I scroll this way, okay. So I don't think I want to do that. That's going to be pretty long. Um, well, that is Google's SongMaker. Um, feel free to uh, take that and um, you can open it up at home and start to fiddle around with it. Uh, you can experiment by adding single notes at a time or multiple notes, which creates something called a chord um, and just have fun creating your own music. Uh, once you are finished, then you can save it. Now that's pretty large. Let's see if I... Oh, it doesn't make much of a difference. Um, you can save it as a link, or you can actually take the file yourself and download it. So let's see here, what's that? Where's that gonna go? Looks like that has gone onto my desktop. Um, let's see. Oh, you probably can't see it. It's just out of the way of uh, my little recording box here, but I can play it. There we go. Um, now, once you've done that, you can uh, you can actually share what you've done with me. Oh, there we go. If I if you highlight that, you can highlight that and then send me the link. Um, you can either do it through the the school's uh, YouTube channel or you can do it through Teams, um, and just let me know what you've come up with. I'd love to hear your musical creations. Um, okay, everybody. Uh, I look forward to talking to you soon, and uh, good luck with Google's. Chrome Experiments and Song Maker. Bye for now.